So we're just going to test his SIM2 Max. Uh, were you fit for that club? Um, I was not, not particularly. This was a chef that um, was a bit of a favourite out of my previous club. Uh, went straight to SIM2 Max. The reason behind Max was to give me that extra little bit of forgiveness, um, that little bit more spin. I think it just helps me keep it a little bit more accurate opposed to trying to get another 20 yards out of, uh, out of my game. So it's worked well for me, this club. Um, let's see maybe what the Stealth and Stealth Plus can do in comparison to this. Group. Yeah, so the direct comparison for the Sim 2 Max would be the Stealth head. And then if, you know, you, you said you'd get quite a lot of spin, um, we're recording to get some data anyway. Uh, and we might just try out the Plus head, which knocks the spin down a little bit for you on that. So yeah, let's okay. have a hit and see what, to, see what the results are. So our target line sort of the back left corner there. It's one of those you'll uh, get away with on the course, I think that one. That's a good example because that's actually my bad shot, George. Is it? It's a bad shot for me, it would be off the neck, spin up a little bit, Ooh. lose quite a bit of yardage, but. Yeah, let me just grab the iPad here. This isn't found. Yeah, we are, um, we're a bit spinny here. Yeah. We're at the floor too. So... Not sure. Really solid there. Yeah, yeah. Right, so what the plan is to hit five shots with this, five shots in the uh, in the stealth. Uh, okay. I think we can fit that shaft in it as well, can't we? I think so. Yeah, I think so. It's um, a shaft I like. Uh, obviously, Taylor may do offer multiple shaft options, which obviously um, would fit and help you and guide you on that. Uh, like oh, absolutely. Try again. That's nice, solid bit. Like that one. Not too far off the line. Okay. There's a bit of wind left to right. Is that what you're claiming? Good to back to that. No. Straight off the neck, lost a lot of yardage, spun up. Yeah, ball speed's noticeably dropped by about six miles per hour there. Eight okay. thousand yeah. spin. Wow. <laughs> Nearly doubled your spin. So, so probably didn't tell me anything that I didn't already know, knowing this driver. Yeah. Um, Ooh, interesting to see what the uh, self does. Yeah. Interesting thing there is certainly something that uh, is happening in modern technology is keeping the spin a little bit more consistent. So you see, on some of them good shots, spin was at a reasonable level. You look at some of the bad shots, you were sort of getting up into six, eight thousand, which for me is probably spinning a little bit too much and losing too much distance on bad shots. But it's finding that balance between hitting that fairway um, and hitting Bob. So let's see what the stuff does. So, on those numbers, you're saying interesting now, what uh, what stands out to you? Obviously, you're a, you're also a pro, you're a fitter, what, uh, yeah, what numbers that, would you like to see that surprise you? What would you like to see improve? I, I think probably the, the biggest aim of this, from my point of view, why I would do this video and what I'd be looking at then, uh, fitting wouldn't necessarily be the distance, because a player like me doesn't necessarily need that extra distance. It'd be more controlling that spin level. So that, that was the big number I'm sort of taking out of that. Let's have to see if we can make them spin characteristics a little bit more consistent. Yeah, absolutely. And um, for a player like Lewis, he does launch the ball quite low. I mean, his driver is set to 10.5 degrees. Yeah. Um, again, we've using the same shaft as what was in the Sim 2 head um, in 10.5 as well on the self. So like I said, this is about as light to light as we can possibly make it. Um, but yeah, so because of that low launch, So I think I think for me, four four 
isn't a bad spin number, no, but let's see bad. if we can make the bad shots spin a little less. Just yeah. get that little bit more yard with a bad shot. Just give it a go. So there stealth, go. brand new stealth. And I suppose the most noticeable thing here, red face, we all love a red face. Nice sheep looking club. Nice and stealth looking. That shape looks good. It's quite good with that shape, as well, to be fair to. Maybe a touch cut across it, just touch. Nice no, centre straight though, straight out the middle. Mm. I mean, it makes such a different sound on this one, being the carbon face. It's kind of well, with the titanium face, you're so kind of tuned into straight away from just the sound of the club, knowing where the strikes come from. So you have to find it when you're coaching and fitting as well. I'd agree with that. Yeah, you kind of just instantly go, that was heel, that was toe, that was low, that was high. Whereas you're kind of learning new pictures as well. Yeah, absolutely. But it is a really, really nice sound. sound. Quite different sound. It's really nice. I, I, I like it. 60 layers of carbon, eh? I know. And it's necky again. But I would argue that's as necky as probably a bad shot on the Super 2 map. Well, what did that spin at? Uh, about 3 9. Okay. That's not bad for oh. a bad shot. Yeah, I like that. I bet that nice. It's a bit more on the face there. Yeah, your ball speed's back up. Okay. It's the 164.4. Uh, yeah, longest one you've hit, I think. Nice. Um, 2146 on the spin. So, wow. you know, for, from what we've seen so far, what they're saying is about the consistency in the spin rate. So, I think it's, it is coming through. It is showing. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that nice. Solid. Quite the best one of it actually. I like that. Let's go on, Mark. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Nice. You're in good. Five. What are you up to? I think the important <laughs> thing is actually, and the numbers will probably prove this a little bit as well, but in myself, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more out of my bad shots. Yeah. You know, because a good shot's a good shot. It doesn't matter who you are, what could be hit. But how can you manage your bad shots? I think that's important. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's pretty solid. Oh, it's quite nice. Pretty solid. So we carried on this test and we tried out the different shafts and we tried out the plus head and a few different sleeve settings in both the stealth and the stealth plus head. Um, and these were the final results of the setup for the stealth for, for Lewis and these are what he gained out of it. Looking at Lewis's numbers what we can see is he's gained around about 11 yards carry over the Sim 2 Max head with the stealth he hit today. Um, also gained about 16 yards total distance. Now the main reasons for this being is that the consistency in the spin which is around about 2,500 in the stealth compared to the 4,500 he was getting in his current head, the Sim 2 Max. Uh, also, you can see there that the ball speed is around about a mile, one mile per hour quicker with the stealth head over the Sim 2 Max. That could be down to ball striking, but it, it does show that it is coming off quicker. The, sp the spin rates are great, uh, and yeah, it's, it's definitely an improvement for Lewis overall. Okay, so we're on the eighth hole here at Louth Golf Club, and we're going to do some on-course testing. So you've seen some of the data that we've done on the uh, on the drive approach. Now we're going to take it to real life play. So uh, I've got my existing driver, which was the Sim 2 Max. We're going to hit three balls. Each of the three balls are all Pro V1s, all marked with the Z on them. Then going to go on to hit the Stealth driver, the same shaft in the setup that George fitted me for. And then we're going to hit three balls with the X on. So we're going to see what that does on golf course in real life. Absolutely. So in the testing, we looked at what, how much, was it 12 yards carry? So we were looking at a little bit more carry, weren't we? Yeah, a uh, bit, bit more longer. distance. Um, more importantly, bad shots spinning a little bit less. Yeah, so the, the bad shots actually did get out there, didn't they? Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, we've managed to get onto the eighth hole here. 
which just happens to be a shot where you need a little putty one. Yeah. And as we've just been watching though, is this shot uh, really does favour him, and it is downwind. So if he does hit good ones, it's don't you don't give him too much credit. Bombs. <laughs> Bombs. <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay. Right, so going three balls, seven two max. It's just stayed straight up the left hand yeah, side there, nice. in the tree line. Obviously, I'm not striking. Yeah. I had it as a touch, a little bit necky. Most of my shots are necky, as you've probably all established. Um, Pretty typical one for me. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I like that one. That's a fantastic shot. Split the middle. Right, so let's swap the heads and then hit the stealth and see how we go. Okay, stealth, ten and a half. So this is in exactly the same spec that we. Kind of played around with you enjoyed it was working for you best in the range yeah. hopefully it transfers to the golf club but obviously you've been using this uh sim 2 head for the season yeah you know pretty much since it came out right in that shaft so when just give us a first impression you know this shot kind of matters a bit more because we're on the course and uh, you're too tight to buy any new golf balls <laughs> so you don't want to use them <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, first impressions when you stood behind the ball, sat behind the ball now with the head there, is, does it fill you with confidence? Do you have to keep the same confidence? What, you know? I think it's interesting because Taylor made this year of uh, God Stealth, the big stories around the face. The last, I think, since the M2 model, I might be wrong, I think the M2 was the first one that kind of had that split colouring on the top of the crown. Yep. Uh, it's got smaller as the years have gone on. But it's something that I've quite enjoyed and what I quite like. Whereas now we've gone back to a full carbon black head. Yeah, for me, I, I didn't notice it too much. Obviously, I, you know, I, I haven't played that driver. However, for me, there is definitely it's still got the line there. There is still the sort of carbon on the head, and then a, yeah. there is line. Obviously, it doesn't stand out. It's not white. It is now black. But there is a, there is a bit of contrast there. Definitely, uh, just. Maybe I'd, I'd probably have to hit it more, like any set of golf clubs, you need to sort of have them repetitions out Absolutely. of the golf course to, to feel that confidence. I think certainly the most striking thing that points out to me, everybody's talking about the red face, is you actually put that down behind the golf ball, actually you don't see as much of the, as the face, the red doesn't stand out as much as you think it probably Well, that's probably funny, because that's exactly what I was going to ask you. So before you hit the shot, I was just wanting to know that is that helping you with your aim? Is that helping, you know, is that giving you a bit of an added confidence boost when you're there to just, as, a, as an extra checking point, just to make yeah, sure you're Yeah, I think it, it certainly stands out. It certainly separates the face from sort of the top line for me. I suppose it depends on where you're, you're lining your eyes up to yeah, on absolutely. the club a little bit. But, um, Funny, we were having that conversation the other day, weren't we? Were, we were, yeah. Very different between <laughs> me and you, but I don't you know, know who's doing it right and who's doing it wrong. But it's, it's certainly not a club that I'm looking down at him and thinking, Oh my god, red face! But you're gonna know what golf club you're using this year. After the golf yeah, course, yeah, your work. friends are definitely gonna know that you've treated yourself to it. Definitely gone stealth, but we we'll just see what the results are. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. So these are the all the X's, are they? So the these one. have all got the X on, all probably ones. Awesome. Oh, I've knocked it. We've uh, heard a lot today. <laughs> but it's in play. That's a shot I, I like. That's that's kind of a typical shot. I would probably say visually the spin was down a little bit. Yep. And it'd be interesting to see how much distance we lost there or gained in comparison to the one that I did hit well with the Oh, that is beautiful. It's just like, yeah, forever. That's gone well. That is, that's nice. I mean, it didn't look like it wanted to come down. <laughs> Launch drop. You see, to me, straight away, you know, I've hit two golf shots. And 
that is a very small amount of shots to probably say this, but I'm starting to feel quite comfortable. Here's this golf, here's this golf. We're in the carbon age, George. Is that carbon right? wood age. if you can get this thing up in the air with as least spin as you as, oh. as possible for you then there they are absolute some... bomb <laughs> absolute bomb so uh let's go check out the result. so that's lewis just collecting his that was the uh the first one you hit with the sim 2 wasn't it yeah so all the zeds are for the sim now if we actually look over here we've got two balls just here we've got two balls sort of here and we've got one on the right side the one on the right i think that was the one that held on again with the sim wasn't it we weren't i remember a shot going out there <laughs> but again it, it did give you a nice clear shot up at the flag there it is the sim i mean you can pick them up i think we're only have to go back from <laughs> then we've got sim 2 max so actually, much? only one of the three shots hit the fairway with my old driver. Interesting. Stealth. And these two up here? Well, I mean... Stealth. Stealth. So as an average, going off the best sim two to stealth, we're looking at one, two. Absolutely, it was, and, and interestingly as well, the, the if I stand here, kind of straight in a line here, you can see the the difference between the 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 longest with your sim compared to the the shortest with the stealth. You know, they're neck and neck together. Yeah. Although that, I mean, those two were hit very very well. They're, they're, don't get me wrong, they probably arguably better swings in the first place, but no, the ball just stayed in the air and it, it didn't want to come down. No, absolutely. Spin legs a little bit better, then I'm a happy man. That's I mean, probably. at the end of the day, you've got three balls on the fairway and you've gained yards, Absolutely. and you know that that's what you're looking for. Yeah, 100%. So for me, my driver of choice this year is the problem. Back in the shop, and today was great. I know some people have tested these and not actually gained too much in yardage, but today Correct, we yeah. did see obviously. You gain what about eleven yards? About eleven yards, yeah. You know, and that was sort of on the range testing as well as actually trying it out on the golf course. And that, that's what we'd encourage you all to do when you come down for a custom fit with us. We'll take you onto the driving range, go through the shafts, the heads, the fields, make sure you're enjoying the club, and then we'd like to take you out onto the course and also compare them, you know, with proper balls in a proper environment, just to make sure that you are actually gaining something out of these clubs absolutely yeah you know here at uh, lewis hackett golf we're, we're catering for, for every type of golfer uh, we're three three staff professionals here we have myself we have callum our assistant and we have george who is our, our, our chief fitter and um, more than happy to help you uh, in your golf game for 2022 and uh, certainly the stealth would be a good consideration if you're in the market for a new driver or metal woods this year so come down and come and see us Absolutely, and they're absolutely fantastic, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, we'll see you all soon. Yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.